Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Jarbo and this is my module for reflection. The first question says, reflect on why it's important for a teacher to have a foundational knowledge of media technology, resolution, and compression. What did you learn from those sections? I believe that it's very important for teachers to have a significant amount of knowledge on things like this because teachers are now going into the age of technology where it's very important to be able to utilize all different varieties of technology but not only that it's important to know how to adjust the resolution of things to compress um, pictures and things that they've um, taken or used for their assignments it's definitely something that needs like these teachers need to know it's very important not only for the teacher but for the students because if the teacher doesn't have an adequate knowledge in it the students aren't going to um, be as apt to listen to everything the teacher is saying because it kind of gives off the feel that the teacher doesn't really know what they're talking about and so I feel like it's very important to have a foundational knowledge so that you're able to adequately utilize the technology that's in your classroom but not only utilize the technology in your classroom, but use other forms of technology to create um, different mediums and different modes for children to be able to use and to show them how to use that technology so that they can express what they've learned in a variety of manners. The second question says, describe your experience working with Prezi. Did you have challenges working with it? Why did you like and dislike about the application as compared to using PowerPoint? I've had to use Prezi for a couple of different um, courses at Fort Hayes, and so I have a little bit of background with it. I do like how Prezi has now changed, so it has classic and then there's a new version of it that is free to people that have already had the prescription for Prezi. And um, I haven't had any challenges or any problems with it so far, but I feel like there's definitely a lot of things that I haven't explored and haven't experimented with on Prezi that um, could become a challenge, I guess. Um, I like how it provides a different feel than a PowerPoint presentation. It still allows for the presentation to be animated and to move um, fluidly throughout as the instructor or whoever is speaking but I feel like it kind of draws people in a little bit more than a PowerPoint does and that's something that I really like about the application. Um, I guess I can't really say there's anything I dislike about it so far because I haven't used it enough to have a distaste for the application itself but I do have a little bit of experience with it and it's not anything so far that I've disliked. The third question says, describe your experience working with Screencast-O-Matic or one of the other screen capture applications. Did you have challenges working with it? What are some different ways that you could see yourself using screen captures as a teacher? Um, also, uh, at Fort Hayes, I've had several courses where I've had to use Screencast-O-Matic. Um, I haven't had any challenges or problems working with it yet. Um, I'm still getting used to recording myself and being able to see myself as the um, presentation is going on and so that's something that I guess is a little bit challenging for me not so much the application but getting used to what the application is requiring of me um, there are a multitude of ways that teachers could use, utilize Screencast-O-Matic um, it's definitely something that I would use because it allows for a lecture to go along with um, something so I could create a presentation on how to um, make a graphic organizer or how to make some form of an assignment and record the instructions along with that so if there were ever a point where I had to be gone and had to have a substitute this is something that I could already have on my computer send to them and they would be able to use and present to my class and that way the students are still having an interactive lesson on how to create whatever assignment they're creating but it will also already be done and it's not something that the substitute has to worry about doing which I think is very beneficial because working in an elementary school like I do I see a lot of substitute teachers come in that aren't exactly familiar with the technologies and the the ways that the teachers in our building are operating things and so it's very important that um, 
as a future teacher, I am prepared in all of those ways to be able to assist a substitute in making things easier. And I think that Screencast-O-Matic is definitely something that is very beneficial for that. Thank you.